Last week, a team from UCS Davis in California figured out that warm water is exacerbating the spread of this virus. Um, and these outbreaks tend to follow abnormally warm winters and El Nino periods. So uh, this is one timeline graph of sea star wasting events, um, usually denoted by downward peaks. And then I've added on red arrows that show abnormally warm winters and El Nino periods. And there seems to be a pretty good correlation between um, an El Nino event and then a downward uh, trend or an outbreak in the sea star wasting syndrome. Uh, this last event, we had El Nino's back-to-back -back years, super warm winters, and that's when we saw this last population crash. Uh, this team also found out that their sea stars were dying in their aquariums and in protected bays uh, because the temperatures were a little bit warmer than more coastal ocean uh, habitats. So I'd like to you guys to look at this last graph here. Um, this is a protected bay on the right-hand side and open ocean. The open ocean was much cooler in temperature and um, they saw a lower prevalence of this outbreak disease.